Hey everyone, and welcome to the Smoking Syndicate. I'm your host, Ben Lee, but I'm not in Black Mountain right now. I am happy to be back on the Mississippi Gulf Coast visiting family for Christmas and New Year's for the holidays. And I'm here on location at my home shop in Biloxi, Mississippi, that's called the Cigar Shop. Now, I was actually uh, talking to the owner, and he was saying, well, hey, why don't you shoot your reviews here in the private lounge? It'd be a lot better, you know, the bit outside, even though the weather here is really, really nice. This is the high 50s, low 60s for highs. A lot better than below freezing on back of the mountains right now. But I thought, that is a great idea. It's a beautiful private lounge over here that we have. And it's a, it's a perfect spot that I can record these reviews. So luckily, that's where I'm, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to do something a little bit different as well in these reviews. I've got a couple of reviews coming up of some very expensive cigars. So instead of doing, I don't, I don't have multiples of these to do the full review like I normally do. So what I'm going to do with these actually are I'm going to smoke these while I'm actually filming. So it's kind of like the way I used to do it kind of back in cigar review days where I would be smoking a cigar and give you the impressions as I'm you know, getting them from the cigar that, at that moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these down and come back in each third and kind of film that segment and tell you what I think of that and then give you the final overall impressions with score at the end of it. So for this one, the first one we're going to be doing is the Davidoff Anniversary Number no. 1 Limited Edition 2023. How do you think it'll do? Stay tuned and find out. The Anniversario number one is a double Corona. It's an eight and two thirds by 48 ring gauge with Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, and fillers from the Dominican Republic. And what's really cool about this, Davidoff actually gave us the exact tobacco varietals that are inside the filler. So what they said was it's the Pilato Visus, uh, San Vicente Visus, and Santa, uh, San Vicente Mijarado Visus. So that's what the filler is. Now, of course, this is a Davidoff, so you know it's going to be pretty expensive, but it's a limited edition Davidoff. So it's even more expensive, right? <laughs> so these retail for $64 a piece. And they come in a box of 10 with one of the cigars being in a wooden tubo. Originally, these were released in 1986 to celebrate Zeno Davidoff's 80th birthday. Um, originally, they had Cuban tobacco in them in the anniversary number one, but as they moved their production to Dominican Republic, they replaced the Cuban tobacco with Dominican tobaccos. So this one is a re-release to kind of celebrate that the heritage of the anniversary number one for Davidoff's, uh, Zeno Davidoff's 80th birthday. So let's take a look at this cigar. I mean, this thing is a massive cigar. But that wrapper is just a beautiful golden brown wrapper. Just, I mean, this is an exquisite looking cigar. I mean, it's a Davidoff. It's what you would expect, right? Look at the band, traditional Davidoff band. But this thing is big. It's a big cigar. I mean, they call it a double Corona, but man, this is a big double Corona. But just a really beautiful, beautiful cigar. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Let's cut cut the cap off and let's check the draw. It's a doubt off though, but gotta do what we gotta do. Draw is absolutely perfect. What you expect that milkshake draw that I like. Now, the pre-light draw, the notes that I'm getting is kind of that Davidoff mushroomy um, kind of muzziness. It's kind of their signature kind of in a way. But I'm also getting a little bit of earthiness, a little hint of like a leather note. Um, I 
and it's like a, a cedar and a almost like a slight honey sweetness kind of on the on their pre-light. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this up, and I'll come back at the end of the first third to let you know how it did. See you in a second. Everybody, I'm back. See that it's uh, about finally done with the first third. Smoking time on the first third so far in the cigar is around 47 minutes. <laughs> so um, I'm a moderate, slow smoker. Um, not as slow as uh, Cigar Coop. <laughs> so yeah, Coop definitely is slower than I am. But for me, especially with Davidoff, I try to pace myself and go a lot slower uh, because there's a lot of nuances really with Davidoff cigars I've always found. Um, so I try to actually smoke them a lot slower to, to pick up all that nuanced flavor. But anyway, on the first third, uh, kind of what I got was there's a nice creaminess uh, along with a nice cedar woodiness about it, um, like a slight honey sweetness as well. And there's like a breadiness too that's, that's in there. It's really, really good. Almost like a sweet bread with that honey. Um, I get like a roasted uh, nuttiness. Like it reminds me of like roasted cashews. Kind of how the cashews is almost like uh, has that nice buttery kind of nutty profile to a cashew. Um, a hay, a little bit of a citrus peel. Kind of I get like a nice little citrus zing on, on the uh, first third as well. Um, white pepper with just a little hint of cinnamon. Now, on the retro hill, what I got was a lot of the white pepper, that honey sweetness, and a little bit of that breadiness. Now, for me, this cigar is smoking uh, pretty much right down the middle. It's medium bodied, medium strength, and medium in flavor. So far, it's really, really good, off to a great start. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the uh, second third, and I'll be back to let you know what I thought of the second third. See you in a second. Welcome back. <clears throat> Done with the second third. It took about the same amount of time, just a little over 40 minutes for the second third as well. Now, what I got on the second third was mostly the same as what I got on the first third. So it's still a little bit creamy. Got the roasted, uh, roasted cashew note. Um, I'm getting a little bit of uh, the cedar. A lot of white pepper actually still there. Uh, especially on the retro, I get a lot of white pepper on the retro hill for this. Um, I'm getting uh, uh, the breadiness is still there. And I'm getting just a, a, a hint of like a slight cocoa note in there. It's just a very slight hint and a slight little bit of a hint of the cinnamon they got in the first third as well. But both, both thirds was just like, like a slight little bit of cinnamon. Uh, the mustiness that it, you know, kind of the telltale sign for me that's down off is not so prominent on the second third. It's actually barely noticeable. Also, that citrus peel note, that citrus flavor is completely gone. I don't get none of that anymore now. Um, and the retro hill is it's just basically white pepper and cedar now. Still medium body, medium strength, and medium flavor as well on this cigar. Uh, it's going really well. Burn is great. Construction is fantastic, kind of as you would expect. Um, all, you know, it's doing really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the cigar off, and I'll come back to give you what I've got in the final third and my overall impressions. See you in a second. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm at the final third here. Now, same, it took about 40 minutes for the, the final third here too as well. So it's a little over, just a little over about two hours, about two and a half hours for this, this cigar. Really big double Corona. So, but what I got on the second third was a little more simplistic. So what I got mainly was some earthiness, but it's mostly cedar with, a, with that white pepper. And I, every now and then I would get just a little bit of like that cocoa note as well in there. Um, it, the seed, and the, I really got a lot of that cedar when I did the retro hill with the, with the white pepper. So the retro hill is pretty much the same as it was in the second third. Overall, I really like this cigar because it, it reminds me of the old school Davidoffs. The original white label lines. Kind of gone, 
uh, back to the roots, but it has a little bit more power to the cigar, a little bit more to it. It's not really mild or, or the low end of medium. This is more solid medium body. Sometimes on the end, to me, it got a little bit close to medium full a little bit, got close to that, but not exactly there. Now, this cigar, to me, I really, really enjoyed it, especially the first and second third were really good. Final third was a little flat, but it was still really good. I'm going to score this one a 92. I think it's a really fantastic cigar. Whether it's worth $64 to you, I don't know. That's that's up to you to decide. But to me, almost two and a half hours of smoke of a Davidoff cigar, you know, is it worth it? I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that or not. It's a really high price point. But to me, it was a really great smoking cigar. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, the whole two and a half plus hours of smoking was really enjoyable. Really liked it, you know. So a 10 count box is gonna cost you like $640, $650, depending on the taxes that your state is. But, I mean, hey, give one a try. I mean, it's, it's a cool throwback to the original Anniversario line that was discontinued, it was discontinued from right around 2016, something like that. So, kind of glad to see this one come back. But I wouldn't mind seeing this come back, you know, with maybe some smaller, um, like not not smaller Vitolas, but a couple of Vitolas, a smaller grouping of them, you know, like maybe two or three Vitolas in the anniversary line, as a as kind of a, a, a steady steady line kind of the way it used to be It'd be really nice to see so we'll see how that goes but uh, this is the third in the line of the limited editions that are coming back there's also millennium lancero which i haven't had yet which really is the one that really uh, piques my interest pretty good um i'd like to try that one out if i could find one of those things. i think they have them still here at the cigar shop in Biloxi. so we'll see if i can grab one of those um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, really good cigar. Try them out if you've got the funds to try a $64 cigar. But still, really good. Really enjoyed it. So please like, comment, subscribe. On that note, I'll see you next time.